make them jala roll out them eyes. You have already seen the intro of this tutorial and you are right. We are gonna edit a vertical video which is the most trending videos nowadays because of Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts and TikTok. To make this cool vertical transition video, we will use the camera shake zoom in transition preset that is 100% free. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we are inside Adobe Premiere Pro and the first thing we are gonna do is create a sequence. To do this, go to the top menu and click on file, then select new and finally choose sequence. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus N. In the pop-up window, expand the digital SLR and select 1080 30 frames or 25 frames depending on your preference. Next, move to the sequence tab. Now it's time to change the video frame size. For Instagram Reels, adjust the horizontal frame size from 9020 to 1080 and vertical frame size from 1080 to 9020. You can also give your sequence a name. In my case, I'll call it Zoom In. Finally, confirm all the settings by clicking OK. The first step is complete and our sequence is ready. Now let's place the background audio on the first audio track. We need to view the entire timeline, so hit the backslash key on the keyboard. Move the audio on the timeline to the left and then hit the backslash key again. Now expand the audio track to see the waveforms larger, which will help us to set markers at every single base. Now let's play the audio once. The high rising area of the waveforms represent the base where I wanna set a marker. To confirm, let's play the audio again. If it's ok then you can set a marker here by hitting the M key on the keyboard. Now let's proceed the next base and add another marker. We will continue this process to complete the rest of the work. Let's move on to the next step which involves streaming and resizing the image. First, drag a picture from the project panel onto the timeline and place it following the first audio marker. By default the duration of the image is 5 seconds but to apply our camera shake zoom in transition preset, we need to adjust this duration to match the second audio marker. You might have noticed that the size of the picture is larger than our vertical program monitor. To resize it, double click on the pictures to enable scaling. You can easily adjust its size here or visit effect controls, which also allows you to adjust the scale and position of the image. Next, right click on the picture and choose nest. You can name the nested sequence and hit ok. Now why do we nest this picture? We do this because we are resizing the pictures through effect controls. Without nesting, our PC transition may not work perfectly most of the time. Let me show you an example. Now I'm gonna show you another way to resize the image to match our sequence resolution. Take another image from the project panel and drag it onto the timeline. Hit the C key to enable the razor tool and make a cut following the marker. Then press the V key to switch back to the selection tool and delete the extra part of the image. Now if I move the time indicator, you see our second picture which is also larger than our sequence resolution. To resize this image, we will use Photoshop. Right click on the image then select edit in Photoshop. This will open the image in Photoshop. Now that we are inside Adobe Photoshop and you see the actual size of our second image. To resize it, select the crop tool and adjust the crop using the mouse. Alternatively, you can go to the top and ensure that width and height resolution are selected. Set the width to 1080 and height to 1920, matching the sequence settings in Premiere Pro. Position the image within the crop, then right click on it and select crop or simply double click on the image. Once you have resized the image, save it by pressing Ctrl plus S key on the keyboard. Make sure to keep an alternative copy of the original image before saving. Now close Photoshop to return to a Premiere Pro. You'll notice that our image is nicely resized. You can confirm this by checking the effect controls. Now we we'll proceed to place the rest of the pictures on the timeline which have already been resized in Photoshop. Great, placing the pictures on the timeline is done. Now let's play back the sequence once. Let's move on to the final step, which is applying the transition preset. Go to the effects tab and expand the presets section. 
To import the preset, first you have to download the preset. You can find the download link in the video description. Now right click on the presets and select import presets. Navigate to the folder containing the presets file, select it and click open to import it. Now you can see that our camera shake zoom in transition preset is imported. I also have another preset called camera shake zoom out transition which has a full tutorial available. You can also watch that tutorial link in the description. To apply the zoom in transition preset first select all of the pictures on the timeline. Then choose the preset and apply it to the selected pictures. Let's play the sequence once to see how it works. Wow, that's great, it's working very well. Now to fill the empty area, we can apply some additional footage. Let's go to the project and double click on the video to open it in the source monitor. You can set in and out points and drag it to the timeline. Adjust the duration of the footage on the timeline if necessary. Make sure to resize the video to match the sequence resolution. Select the footage and go to the effect controls to adjust its size. Everything is done perfectly. Now if you want, you can click on the workspaces icon and select the vertical. Finally, play back the video. That's all for today's Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.